So why haven't more farmers used this fungus superhero? Up until very recently, it was cost. I became aware that mycorrhizal fungi was one of the key organisms naturally occurring in soils that could be used to access phosphate fertilizer that was in the soil but unavailable for crop production use. Dr. Mike Amaranthus has researched the exceptional qualities and the production of mycorrhizal fungi for decades. In these granules, which we call our mycorrhizal inoculum, are the seeds or the spores of the mycorrhizal fungi, which will develop that nourishing relationship between the plant and the soil. We can reestablish mycorrhizae in soils in a matter of months. The key is to get the seeds of the mycorrhiza in contact with the living root, because the root supplies little drops of sugar, which fuels the growth of these tiny threads in the soil. And in exchange, the mycorrhizae bring the nutrients in the water back to the plant. His goal has been providing a more cost-effective way for farmers like Gerald Weeb to obtain and utilize mycorrhizal fungi. Using mycorrhizal inoculum, we can consistently get increases in yield of 5 to 20 percent. But that's just part of the story. The other part of the story is that farmers can decrease their input costs to grow their crops. And if you consider the cost per acre of nitrogen at 50 to 60 dollars an acre and phosphorus at 50 to 60 dollars per acre, a 30 percent savings by using the mycorrhizae pays for itself several times over.